I'm Ellen Brennan, and I'm from the U.S. As a young girl, Ellen Brennan was inspired to fly by her father as she watched him paraglide through the skies above the Utah mountains. She soon started rock climbing so she could get closer to the sky, then picked up her father's sport and became an expert paraglider. She started skydiving soon after she became 18 and progressed to base jumping as soon as she was technically ready. She quickly discovered that wingsuit base jumping was her greatest joy and that its demands and rewards fit perfectly with her driven personality. Whether she's flying her wingsuit in the mountains of Europe or climbing and jumping in the deserts of the USA, her drive to excel has propelled her into the top echelon of competitive wingsuit pilots. And her generous nature leads her to encourage and mentor younger and less experienced jumpers. Oh, I grew up in the U.S., but three years ago I moved to France, to Chamonix, which is a mecca for wingsuit jumping, and I've been basing my life out of there so I can pursue my dreams of wingsuit jumping. It's pretty fun to be doing something very unique and very special and something that's cutting edge, really. Every time I jump, it's a huge mental reset for me. Like, it clears my mind of all the garbage that I don't need to be thinking about. It helps me think about the things that really matter in my life. And it helps me just realize, like, what life is about and what's important to me and what's not important to me. And every time I jump, it helps me reassess everything in my life and everything I'm doing. Super jump. Really, really good. It's super powerful. The air actually feels really good right now. I'm just so happy to be flying. It, everything feels really, really good. I'm super excited. My jump today went just how I wanted it to go. I was focusing on pushing a lot harder to improve my time. I was hoping to improve it by a second. I pushed harder and improved it by 0.6 seconds, which is pretty good, I think, for making that small adjustment. Uh, so I'm super psyched with my time, personally. This next jump, I'm going to adjust how I attack the turn, and that way I'm gonna make it to the top 10. I was really excited to be in the top 10 earlier, and then I knew there was a lot of people that had a really good chance of, you know, knocking me out of that place. So I was bringing my A game to my last jump, gave it all I've got, but Yoki still uh, beat my score by a pretty good margin. So uh, it's not in my nature to be competitive, but when I come here, I realize like how badly I want to win and how badly I want to beat everybody else. <laughs> So I can't say anymore that I'm not competitive because clearly like I'm out here and I'm doing things that, you know, adjusting my wingsuit last minute, doing funny things that a competitor wouldn't normally do if they didn't care. I come here with the mindset of I'm here to learn and to fly safe and then I'm here to compete. So first things first, I'm going to learn and secondly, I'm going to compete with everybody. really nervous because I knew there was a lot of girls coming this year to compete and I really wanted to hold the title of fastest woman in the world so psyched that I won again so just gotta keep on training and preparing for next year because everyone else here is getting really good and really fast and it's gonna be a really stiff competition next year. I feel really good. That jump went really smooth for me. My goal was just to not jump before the timer and also to not have a low canopy time. I feel like I've been flying a little bit faster than Melissa, so I was hoping as long as I don't disqualify myself, I have a good chance of hopefully getting first. <laughs> Melissa won first at a world base race this year, okay. so she is a really fast flyer, so she has a good chance of, okay. of going fast, we'll see. <laughs> Number one for women was our good friend Ella. Congratulations, Ellen, the fastest woman in the world.